Hey there, Knights and Night Witches. I'm the Rum Ham, and just because the Spring Finals are over doesn't mean that you don't get to have your voice heard. We've got a very special community corner for you from Clash with Mautic. Take a look. What's up guys, I'm Clash of Motic. I'm a YouTuber, I'm also a Twitch live streamer as well, so if you want to check me out on twitch.tv forward slash Motic, and you want to check me out on YouTube, Clash of Motic. and today we're looking at the CCGS, the Crown Championship Global Series, we're looking at some of the best players from the tournament, we're looking at Surgical Goblin who just won the EU side of the tournament, we're also looking at Oxlot who won the NA side of the tournament. Let's get into some of those games guys, hopefully enjoy it, and here we go. Right guys, so we're going to get into the last minute of Surgical Goblin versus Beren, Surgical Goblin's running a Night Witch mirror deck and I feel it's a really strong deck. You put your Night Witch down, they counter it with something, you put another Night Witch down, you get the tank in front and you just get a big push going. Surgical Goblin got a massive push on the right hand side. Beren kept trying to push with this battle ram that's coming up the left hand side. The Night Witch is stopping it every single time. That's a level 2 Night Witch on the left hand side as well which managed to take all that down. That was a pretty good trade for Surgical Goblin as well because purely because of the poison and the battle ram going down but on the right hand side you can see a peck is going down but it's just getting chipped away by those bats and slowly getting taken down by those bats and the build up with the bats here just because because of those night witches in the back is just insane we got a miner quickly down here in the back as well Baron tries to go for another push on the left hand side the tower is so low but Surgical Goblin gets a really nice tornado into a Night Witch again which just stops the push in its path and Surgical Goblin takes that win so I feel that's just an off meta deck and it's such a strong deck right we're going to go into some games with Oxlot. Right guys so we're going to get into the final game Oxlot versus CMQ. I think this is just an insane push at the end here from Oxlot. He managed to get his battle ram down at the end just like the Rumham said this was the $15,000 battle ram. This is what won Oxlot the game. He brings it down to 788 HP and a double elixir you do not want your tower down at that HP. This deck he's running at the moment is a really good deck. I've played it a lot. I've played it on grand challenges. Got a load of 8, 9, 10, 12. 11 wins with it. I've just got a crazy amount of wins with this deck. I feel it's a really good counter deck. It just stops a lot of tank decks. And it's also a really defensive deck. You just react to what um, your player does and then um, the player you're playing against does and then you just push through and try and get the three crown. I've got loads of three crowns with this deck and loads of pushes off just with that battle ram. The peck it just stops golem, it stops giant, it just stops so many different things and it's just a big tank as well and it can take out three musketeers. I just normally drop my peck in front of the three musketeers or the musketeer bandit battle ram push and it normally just clears it all up so I just think it's an insane push but you can see the end here. Oxlot gets the P.E.K.K.A down, he's got the Night Witch here, he's also got the Inferno Tower down, CMQ does to try and take down the P.E.K.K.A but it just gets DPS down by the Night Witch, also got the Baby Dragon up there as well, we've got a Bandit just running in the back there, we've got a Knight down, we've got a Bat Ram, we have a Poison down as well, so CMQ's taking a load of damage in his tower, the Logs coming down as well, and this is pretty much what takes it, he gets a Bandit just at the end there, but the chip with the baby dragon in the back there which is almost full HP just takes the tower down and just clears it up for Oxlade. Right guys so that is it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it I'm going to be looking forward to the fall season I'm definitely going to be keeping up with the CCGS so hopefully you enjoyed the video guys and hopefully I'll see you on my channel some point soon. That was an excellent breakdown of Surgical Goblin and Baron's epic match during the Spring Finals. Make sure to mosey on over to Clash with Mautic's channel, give them a subscribe for that excellent content. And don't forget, this isn't the last Community Corner we're ever going to do, so send your videos into the link below and you could be featured on this very channel. Hit that subscribe button on the Clash Royale official channel to see any upcoming news breaks for the fall season. Fall season kicks off in August, so stay tuned and I'll see you then.